I do stress out about it, but I stress out about everything. So that's nothing new in my life. Morning, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Misty and I am a reseller on eBay and Mercari and Poshmark occasionally. But I own a brick and mortar antique store called Wildflower Antiques. And this is day three of the Christmas shop revamp series. And today is the last day. Now, when I say the last day, it's the last day before I open this week. I have a lot of Christmas stuff that I haven't put out yet. My main focus for this week was to get things moved around, make the shop look fresh and new when customers come in. It kind of transforms them and they think that they're, it's the first time that they've been in. Yes, there's things that are still, you know, furniture wise that's still there, but I like to totally revamp things. I think that it helps with sales. It helps people just get a new view of things and it is kind of fun. Now, it is a lot of fun to see things that you, you that I may have had for a while that's been sitting in the spot and I move it and then it sells. That's just, that's like a thrill to me. Today is mainly just getting things straightened up, cleaned up, swept up, and ready to open tomorrow. So, I'm on my way there now. I'm going to go to the post office first like I always do. Um, my girl Cindy is going to come and help. She's bringing some Starbucks and that always helps. So today's going to be a good day and we're going to get some stuff done. So, and at the end, I will walk around and I will show you everything as it's ready to be open. So here we go. Well, I just got here. It's cold. It's snowy, but that gets you a little bit in the Christmas spirit. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm, 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 walking around here thinking what didn't i show yesterday i just got here so i have a lot more to do so i'm going to try to remember not to show you what i showed you yesterday um and show you what i am going to be working on today so let's turn the camera around so you can see the thing that cindy and i put up yesterday was this beautiful palm palm tree and i was able i found these cute uh, aluminum icicles, I guess that's what they're called, to hang from it. And then the vintage star, or the, not a star, but the topper right there. And then this is just a little table, a tiered table that used to be brown. And my father-in-law took it and chalk painted it and made it distressed. It's such a cute table. I actually have another one for him to do um, when, if, when he, when he feels like doing it. But I just added some some fun little Christmas things. This is that Christmas address, telephone address book, um, a Christmas card list um, that I picked up at a flea market or at the bins somewhere. But I liked these cr uh, cookie cutters. They're aluminum and they're red and green. So I just tied them together with a ribbon and just laid them on top of there. And that cute little reindeer and this um, little dish. So that is different we hung this oh i found this do you guys remember those these puffy things that you used to buy and hang on your wall well i just love it and i love it with that teal door this one says noel it's just like quilted puffed fabricy stuff and then i did put a few more things up on this cabinet here still working on it but one thing that i like to do and i said this yesterday is buy little ornaments from Dollar Tree and just put them in um, different vessels and containers. And I have that one in the coffee can. Now, if someone wants to buy that, they'll bring it up to the counter. And I typically will ask them if they want the things that are inside it. If they say yes, then I got it at Dollar Tree. It isn't that big of a deal. It helps sell the product. You might want to think about um, maybe adjusting your price a little bit if you have things that you've added things to. Um, or, and if they said that they don't want it, then I take it out and then I just put it in something else. I think I showed you everything here yesterday. Uh, I just did just add a little bit of greenery and stuff to that picture there and added a little Santa tin, a little angel. I love these vintage angels. I actually had her on top of the tinsel tree until I found that um, really cool atomic one, but... 
I love these little angels. They look so cute, like in a big grouping together. Um, just intermingled a few little Christmas pieces. I'm going to work more on that today just to add a little bit more to this section here. I showed you everything there yesterday and there, so it won't focus much on that. This is my project today is getting this uh, buffet um, ready. I'm, going, I'm taking everything off. I'm going to dust it and um, add a few more things to that. This is a tiered tray. I actually had this little tree, which will sell tomorrow. I, I still think it will sell the first day I have it out. I, have, I bought this tiered tray at Goodwill, and um, I decided I liked it there. So I'm going to put some stuff on that. I added some more greenery here to this little pitcher there. Still just trying to intermingle some Christmassy things to the already already okay displays that I'm not changing up. Aren't these fabulous? These little mod carolers. Added those yesterday. Kind of just, you know, fix this table up a little bit. I like to use napkins too. I will pick up these napkins at Goodwill in the textile section. Sometimes you can get them in a bundle and then they just, they do make nice little, um, just add some color to some boxes for displays. Just still intermingling and adding some more. Today I've got to work on this. I also have to get my counter cleaned up because it's a hot mess. My husband did hang this window, you can see here. I wanted him to hang that because I'm going to, you know, make the shelf up here a little bit more festive too. But this window, I'm going to, I'm not going to sell it. I was, I've had them for sale and I've sold, I sell windows all the time. But I'm going to keep that there and kind of make it look different every holiday. So he hung that for me yesterday on the brick. Yeah, I know. Which means, Misty, you're not selling this because I'm not hanging anything else up on the brick. So that that was a big step. That's love. Love. Let me draw a little heart around it because he doesn't like hanging anything on that brick. All right. This is pretty much the same... Pinky, we've, we've cleaned Pinky out. Pinky's going to get get some stuff added to him. He's not going to look so tired, and and he just was so bombarded with stuff. I just had just stuff everywhere, and it just gets, it isn't appealing to the eyes, and so you have to think about that. I When I go into places to shop, I don't want to be bombarded. My clientele that I like to get in my shop are not resellers. I want my customers to be looking for decor for their home and ideas for their home. So I try to stage things that appeals to someone that's looking for decor for their home and not necessarily someone that's looking for something for resale. That's not the kind of game that I'm, that's not the clients that I'm wanting to bring into my store. All right, I've got to move some stuff around here. There's Sola Santa. Do you like Sola Santa? He has no eyes. He, he's one of Cindy and Mai's favorite little 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 guys back there. Sola Santa. Say hello. Hello. Uh, this little church. This one still works. This one needs a bulb. This one I'm going to plug in somewhere. And here's this little jingle Santa. Isn't he sitting just fabulous crisscross applesauce? I love him. His price tag's falling off. Here's another sign that my daughter painted. She likes to find these pieces of wood that we're just not using, just random pieces of wood, and she'll use them to paint little things on. Mark hung that shelf for me yesterday on the non-brick wall, so I'm going to get that fixed up. I did get the stressor staged and ready. I had all of these books in a trunk, and so this way, if I put them in a drawer, people aren't having to bend over to look at them. They can just... You know, look at them waist high. So, you know, that makes sense, right? Yeah, I kind of thought so. Again, I buy these Christmas bulbs at yard sales over the summer. You can get them for next to nothing. And they just look good in a jar as filler, as, as well as these little trees. Now, here's the thing. And I, I joke about this every year, but I'll have people come up and they'll just bring me this. And they'll say, how much is this? And, I mean, I will sell it to them, but you can buy these in, like, packs at Walmart. So, I tend to tell them that, but sometimes I just want to buy it. Now, if someone's buying this cup here, this new post office Chicago, Illinois cup, and they bring it up, and this tree is in it, I'll ask them, do you want the tree 
in the cup as well and they say yes then i sell the tree with the cup i uh, i i buy these when they're on clearance so um you know it's a, it's a way to upsell something that maybe you've had for a while all right one thing that i do with this tiered tray is i love hallmark ornaments i buy hallmark ornaments a lot when i can get them cheap sometimes i find them at goodwill for 69 cents 99 cents sometimes i find them at yard sales sometimes i find them in the bins and i just put them in this tiered tray i have them marked you know like three dollars a piece on a lot of them so i put those in a tiered tray i've got this set up a little bit i need to add a little bit more to it that's not very Christmassy, but we'll see i'm gonna add a little something to that but so there is this little area. I think I showed you all this yesterday. I need to make a little bit more Christmas in there. I did add that little Lefton shepherd angel. I don't know. I, I think it's a shepherd. And then just trying to. We did clear up this trunk here. Cindy May arranged the, tr the blankets in there. I'm going to hang some sort of greenery or reef on there just to make it a little bit more festive. Um, and let's go up here and see. These are also Dollar Tree bulbs. They're not glass, so they're plastic. If they fall, they won't break. But again, you can use them to, to add a little bit of color to some other, le other not colored things. Does that make sense? We hung ornaments on this tree. All these ornaments are so cute. A friend of mine made these. They're made out of little mittens. They make great teacher gifts. So we sell those and she's got $2.50 a piece on them. These little clothes pins. So I hang those on this tree. Aren't they cute? Uh, we got this cabinet looking much better. I think in yesterday's video you saw us moving it around. Um, but I had it displayed different. I had this door. This It's a secretary. You can use it as a desk. But it just displays better as a cabinet so that's what we're doing just you know adding a little bit more things that i'm trying to get those to straighten out isn't that nice using tiles you do whatever you got to do and i've got to get this table set up with the left end and these are the thing that remember all the boxes that were here see progress we got all the boxes clean cleared out i still have to stage all of this stuff that's on the table I've got this really nice nativity scene that I got in a grab bag lot at Goodwill. And this little Mary and Joseph and little, little baby Jesus. Cute. Made out of ceramic. These little home co elves. This guy I'm debating on taking him home. Doesn't he look like he could just, he's like staring into your soul? Hello. He is made in Japan. I don't know. I just like him because he's so creepy looking and I like his colors. Let me just show you my stash back here. I kind of talked about this in yesterday's video where I'm not putting everything out because I, I have things that I'm saving back for my holiday open house like the blow molds and the pixies. But I do have a little stash of mine like this little bell. I'm taking it home. It says season's greetings. And I, I'm, I'm on the fence on this Santa. I'm trying to decide. We'll just stand him up right there. And I, I, him, I have to... Look at his hands. Hello, girl. So I just... Look at him. <laughs> I just love him because he's so odd. So he's going to go home with me. And, and I showed you some of this stuff yesterday. But this is a book that I found. I love the colors in it. Showed you that yesterday, my little dancing Santa. So I, oh, so I kind of have a little bit of a hoard that, I, that I'm trying to decide what I'm keeping and what I'm not. Look, I found these pictures. Look at these vintage Christmas pictures. Aren't they great? I like to just see what the presents are and the ornaments that are on the tree. Oh, I love it. Wish I could find more of these. So that needs to be priced. I have more in here that need to be priced and more there that need to be priced this one's awesome i just love all of these were in a haul video that i did this whole flat are things that i got at an auction and then this guy <laughs> i love 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 these little wooden um and 3d ornaments so i've got to price those 
there's a big puffy Santa. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. Oh, there's another blow mold there. So that is the game plan for today. It shouldn't take us very long. I don't have a lot of time today. I have to be out of here by five. But I think that I can, I think that I can do it. I, that's what we're doing today. And when I am done and when I, right before I'm leaving, I'll try to walk through again and just kind of, just take a little tour. I'll probably just put it to music so you won't have to listen to me ramble on and on and on. And so you can see the finished product of Christmas at Wildflower 2019. this little series it's been a lot of work but it's something that I'm very passionate about and I do I do really enjoy it I do stress out about it but I stress out about everything so that's nothing new in my life but um, the, the holidays are always a busy time of year we always do very well at Christmas because honestly people come in they love Christmas everyone loves vintage Christmas so I've already had people emailing me and sending me messages and they're wanting me to put things back for them the things that things that they've seen me post on social media they want you know and i i feel bad about saying that i can't do that but i honestly can't do that um the things that i have in the shop at least at this point um until i do a five things friday are going to be reserved for my customers and then once things settle down a little bit and i can clear my head a little bit then I will be offering some things to to you guys online as well so I am going to film in here on Thursday but I don't think that I'm going to focus solely on Christmas things I might maybe we'll throw in a bonus or two of Christmas also want to say that I for my last five things Friday I have gathered up everything that people have messaged me about I have them in a bag I'm going to take them home my main focus this week has just been getting the shop ready so I haven't forgotten about you I have all the emails I have all the things I'm gonna get them weighed and get you shipping quotes and when things get back to some normalcy around here which will be next week I will send you a message and we'll get those things going so I haven't forgotten about you my mind's just a little crazy right now with Christmas I hope that you do enjoy this video. If you're ever in Southern Indiana, make sure that you come down and visit Wildflower Antiques. We're open Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays, 11 to five. And if you like this video, make sure that you hit the like button. Make sure that you're subscribed and share my channel. It really does help me grow. And I, I love making these videos and I have a lot more ideas that I want to, to do and put out as far as intermingling things with the shop. So make sure that you are, that you're subscribed and that you hit the bell notification so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And until next time guys, I will see you in my next video. Bye.